Today's guest is Ken Stiefler, and he's president of Exits LLC in Denver, Colorado. Thank you to Zarlingo Rob, CPAs and business advisors in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, for providing a location for us to film this episode. At Zarlingo Rob, they think like business owners. For more information about Zarlingo Rob, please click the link in our website show notes. Hi, I'm Lauren A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors to help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transfer ownership seamlessly when the time comes. As I said, today's guest is Ken Stiefler. He's president of Exits LLC in Denver, Colorado. Ken's been an exit planner for 20 years and received his certified exit planner designation in 2009. You can go to the show notes on our website for more information about Ken Stiefler and Exits LLC. Welcome back again, Ken. We're Glad gonna to be here, Norm. We're we're gonna double up now. We're gonna talk about two steps the exit planning process. Step four and five, which is one is uh, selling your company to a third party, and the other one is transferring it to an insider, like a key employee group or uh, maybe a family member. So what what circumstances dictate the route you go, either selling to a third party or transferring to an insider? What do you think? Dave? Well, I, I think first of all, if, if if you may have key, pe- I mean, you're going to need key people in any in any case. But if you've got key people who do not want to be owners, mm-hmm. you know, that dictates a sale to an outside third party. Uh, sometimes uh, you're you're looking at a business that is simply too large mm-hmm. to be realistic uh, for an inside transfer. So you need to be looking at an outside third party. Okay. Um, if if uh, you have a, a business that's uh, nice and clean and uh, unique, uh, you'll probably experience the the fastest and the greatest payday by going to an outside third party. Mm-hmm. So those are some of the things that uh, that we look at: the size of the business, mm-hmm. uh, whether you've got anybody that uh, is owner material within mm-hmm. your company, mm-hmm. uh, those types of things. Okay, good. Of course, there's landmines in any any road you take. Um, how about selling to a third party? What are some things a business owner has to really watch out for when they go down that path? Well, we, we do an educational program uh, in Denver. We've done it for 13 years. We call it our business owner briefing. Mm. And uh, we've got a slide in there that shows an iceberg. Oh. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, if, if, if anybody's ever watched you know, the Discovery Channel, they're told that uh, what we see uh, from an iceberg is that top 10 or 15 percent. And mm-hmm. it's that other 80, 85 percent that's below the surface of the iceberg. Mm-hmm. If you're selling to an outside third party, what's below the surface of the iceberg is uh, called due diligence. Mm-hmm. If you got a bunch of stuff below the surface of the iceberg, uh, a lot of skeletons in the closet, mm-hmm. um, that is a that is a land that's not a landmine. That is a landmine field. Okay. So and then on the other the other path is transferring to insiders. I'm sure there are landmines there. Maybe different ones. Maybe the same ones. But can you enlighten us about that? Well. I, I, there are a number of landmines when it comes to an inside transfer. Uh, one is that uh, does that insider really want to be the owner? Mm-hmm. And does that insider really have the ability to be an owner? Mm-hmm. Sometimes business owners just assume things, mm-hmm. especially when it comes to your, to your children. I just assumed that my son or daughter would take over the business. Mm-hmm. And that, that assumption can prove to be a landmine, can prove to be uh, deadly. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that's one of the, the, the key things. Uh, I, but I think the other, you know, probably the most uh, common uh, other landmine that I come into is that uh, uh, mom or dad or you know owner, if we're talking about selling it to a key employee, that uh, they want to transfer the business to an insider, uh, but they have a hard time realizing that they are a control freak Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. that uh, uh, every time they try to give up uh, control by enabling that insider to develop themselves the first time they make a mistake they take it back yeah and that's that's that is a landmine Mm. Uh, I literally had a lady that um, looked to blow the family up too yeah I had a lady who you know a number of years ago she came to one of our business owner briefings and and it looked like she was uh, uh, gonna start to cry and afterwards I said I, I it seems like I 
you know, hit an emotional nerve. And she said that, uh, you know, Ken, uh, I was working out of state. I was very happy. My my dad um, begged me to come back in, to, into the business because he wanted to ultimately transfer to it to him. So I said, well, so what happened? He said, well, I've been here three years, and every time I say, Dad, we need to do some planning, he gets upset, and he looks at me, and he says, what are you trying to do, kill me? Okay. <laughs> and I said, so if, if he doesn't come around, what are you going to do? And he says, I'm just going to leave, and he's going to he's going to be without an access strategy and that's I've not seen her since but my guess is that uh, that may very well be what happened hmm yeah, that's too bad at the end of this video you can subscribe to our free newsletter download free guides and have an opportunity to win free books from Amazon